Hello everyone, this is Razvan. Welcome back, this is the writing sample video dedicated to the Cross ATX Phantom Pen. Uh, something that I forgot to mention in the main review video is some specifics for the Phantom Pen. We have a total length with a cap on of 127 millimeters. In terms of weight, this is again a metal metal fountain pen. We have 27 grams in total, uh, with the cap about 8 grams and the body 19 grams. So so that you know. Okay. Um, also, on this side of the cap, I think you'll be able to see we have this area which doesn't have this diamond shape texture pattern that I was talking about, which I like a lot. Um, the reason for this is that I understand that this part can be engraved, probably with a laser or something like that. This can be engraved with your name or other words or stuff like that. So uh, Cross has left out this part of the cap without this texture. Uh, specifically for this purpose okay so that you are aware about that because I didn't mention it also another thing which speaks about the quality of the of the manufacturer um, this is the package of the converter so the, uh, as I mentioned cross is using cartridges and proprietary uh, proprietary cartridges and converters and this is the package of the converter, which is which needs to be bought separately. And you know, this is the first time when I see um, a fountain pen manufacturer using this type of a uh, package for a converter. So very nice. It says uh, for cross fountain pens, except cross Thompson and Aventura. We have the website and also something very interesting, sorry. Um, made in Germany. So the converter is made in Germany. Yeah, nice. Okay, for today I'm gonna use this particular ink, um, Standard Graph. This is a new type of ink I am testing out uh, for my pen shop and for me. Um, this is the for, forget me not blue color very interesting um, ink 30 milliliters bottle has a small resistance to water so or a minimal resistance to water which is good and an interesting um, colors okay so let's start as usual I will gonna use three types of papers this is the first one the 120 grams paper and let's see. So, cross ATX. Okay, we have a nib. Um, this is a steel nib number four medium point okay the ink is standard graph and paper this is color copy So, excellent flow, no issues. Now, you can fill the paper with this nib. It is not a super high polished nib. But it doesn't get in your way, so you don't feel the nib dragging on the paper, that's, that's for sure. So, it was 
you know, it was polished in the way that you can really use this nib on any type of paper from my perspective. So it's a very solid nib, a daily workhorse. Yeah, it is stiff, of course, this is not a flexible nib in any way, it's not semi-flexible, stuff like that, that's not the point. But there are no flow issues, no hard stops or hard starts, etc. Very nice experience. It goes well, well to with the overall design and purpose of, the, of this pen. Okay, let's go to the second type of paper, which is Clairefontaine, 90 grams, so... Yeah. The standard graph ink, if you are wondering, it, it's made in Germany. And paper, it's a less known brand, at least outside Germany. Very popular in Germany. So we have Clairefontaine for paper. 90 grams. I like a lot this longer section. I think it, for my hand it's the best size. I think the diameter it's around 8 to 9 millimeters maximum, something like that. Let's see the flow. I think it's a medium flow. It's not super wet which is good, so it's quite where I, I like it. Very good experience. Yeah. And finally, the last type of paper. As usual, Tomoe River paper in ivory, 52 grams. Um, this fountain pen is, is also available with a fine point, with a fine nib, so that you know. I have the medium because that's my personal preference, and this is, and this is the only nib that the um, distributor in Romania is bringing on, but so that you know you have the choice to, uh, to choose a fine nib. I'm a, I'm a medium guy, so for me it's perfect. So still number four, um, the ink. An increased flow 
on the Tomoe River paper, but that is expected. And you know the color of the ink gets out on uh, on this type of paper. That's one of the best things about the Tomoe River paper. The way the color is uh, appearing on on the paper. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much it. This is the writing sample for the Cross ATX fountain pen. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for your time. Hopefully this will be to your liking. And um, we keep in touch for the next review. Goodbye.